Good morning. My name is Douglas Newell and I do something that a lot of people don't do. I'm the conductor of the Enid Symphony Orchestra. That means I walk into a room, people are seated, seated around and they have instruments in their laps. I stand up in the middle, raise my hands and they start playing beautiful music. It's a wonderful career. I started wanting to be a musician when I was about mm, seven years old when I began taking piano lessons, then I took violin lessons, then I took singing lessons, and finally I took conducting lessons and was very, very lucky to travel around the United States at times and been in Europe and had some great times there, uh, conducted college choirs, conducted uh, high school ensembles. I even got to conduct EC3, the Enid Children's Chorus. And I'm really proud of that when they appeared with the Enid Symphony Orchestra. But I'm here today, well, because I like to read. I read something different every day of my life. And that keeps me learning new things. And it's one of the most exciting things I think anybody can do. What's a day worth if you don't learn something new? So today, I'm going to learn about a dog named Charlie. Charlie lives on a ranch. Now, I have a dog and he's sort of brown and black and white and he's a, actually an Australian shepherd dog. His name is Dog Newell, D-A-H-G-N-U-E-L. It sounds like Dog Newell, but we are not related. We're just best friends. So I like dogs and here we go with Charlie, the ranch dog. Oh, hello, my name is Charlie. I live in the country. I'm a ranch dog. This is Susie. She's my best friend. We sure don't look much alike, do we? Hmm. Well, I mean, if you just took a crayon, maybe. Susie, unfortunately, doesn't have the paws I have, or the droopy ears, or the floppy skin, or the big dangly ears. Susie's ears don't dangle. Never have, never will. I try not to hold that against her. Okay, so there's Susie. Oh yeah, his are kind of big and floppy and hers are just kind of short and curled, but that's Susie and that's Charlie and that's my cell phone ringing. Someone's trying to send me a text message. I don't know why. But then again, Susie sure can run and dig. Hmm, Susie's a digger. And jump, boing, there you go. I've never been much of a jumper. Believe me, I've tried and tried and tried and tried. Yeah, me too. The old legs just, the old legs just don't work that way. But all that stuff doesn't really matter anyway, cause uh, uh, tall or short, slow or fast, tiny ears or floppy ears. There's plenty of work around here for both of us. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their talents. The first thing we do every day is get out of bed early. Too early. I'm sure you've never done that. Dark early. That's even worse. I'd better go wake up Susie. She's never been much of a morning dog. Who's gonna put the coffee on? Well, I guess she was a morning dog today. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. The next thing I have to do is chase Daisy, the cow, out of the yard. Do I have to do that? Daisy knows she's not supposed to be in the yard. Some cows never Listen. Well, Daisy's kind of a big cow, you know. Susie's kind of a small dog. Well, I guess I'll let Susie go ahead and do it this time. I like to give her a chance to shine every now and then. It's the kind of dog I am. 
I think Susie is probably quite a capable dog. All righty. That's a hard word to read upside down. All righty, now that Daisy's under control. It's time for me to sniff the porch steps. I've got to keep all the critters out, bugs and things. Sniffing the porch steps is hard work. Up and down and up and down. Sniff, 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 sniff. Yep, all the way clear down there. It's a lot of steps. It's a good thing I'm here to keep the critters away. Oh my. A squirrel? Hmm. After the porch steps are good and sniffed, I like to stop and have my breakfast. I can't be expected to do all this work on an empty stomach. Mmm, yum, breakfast is my life. Best way to start the day. After breakfast, I usually go help Mama in her vegetable garden. Mama loves her garden. I don't really understand all the fuss. I'd prefer a, a bacon garden myself. Hmm. But I go ahead and uh, lend a hand anyway. Never seen a bacon garden? It sure is a good thing Mama has me to help her. There's no way she'd get it all done without me. Hmm, yawn. I think Charlie may be a supervisor dog, I'm not sure. It's just even, it's not, isn't even lunchtime yet. And I've already worked harder than most dogs out there. I think I'll just sit down and rest for a minute. I think I'll just... Huh? What, 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 what did I miss? Oh, I must have had... I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. I'd better get back to work. It's hard life. Work, after all, is what I do best. I have cattle to round up, fences to fix, and fish to catch. I'm known for my expert fishing skills. Yes. How many of you have ever been fishing and caught a frog on your head? Only the experts. Eventually, we make our way back to the house. Susie's ready to eat lunch by then. I usually go ahead and eat, too. I wouldn't want Susie to have to dine alone. After lunch, Susie likes to sit down and take her afternoon nap. Oh, she likes to lie down. That is a hard word to read upside down. It looks like eile. I usually go ahead and lie down, too. I wouldn't want Susie to have to nap by herself. Hmm. Huh? What? What? What, what did I miss? Oh, I must have accidentally closed my eyes for a few seconds. Hmm. That's a dark barn and a lot of things out there. Oh, hello. Where'd everybody go? Rats. I guess they went back to work without me. Nothing else to do but take another nap, I guess. Wait, what's that? Methinks I hear the sound of approaching beasts. And this was not written by Shakespeare, mind you. Daisy, no! Oh, look what Daisy is into now. She's in, oh, she's in Mama's vegetable garden. That's the kind of noise those dogs make. I don't do it very well, but you get the idea. That was a close call. It sure is a good thing I decided to stay home. 
There's no telling what would have happened if I hadn't been here. Well, I think I know the cows would have eaten all the vegetables. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll lie down and rest for a minute. I've had a long, hard day of work. I just hope Susie remembers to wake me up in the time for dinner. And so do I. Well, Charlie's a pretty interesting ranch dog, don't you think? He has a friend named Susie. He works for the farm family with Mama. It helps her with her garden. He has to check the steps out every day. He has to eat lunch with his friend Susie, so she won't eat alone, and that's very important. It's no fun to eat by yourself. So if you have a friend in the lunchroom or someone you don't know that's sitting alone, go sit with them, have lunch with them, make a new friend. It's the best thing you can do. I hope you've enjoyed the book, Charlie the Ranch Dog. I certainly have. I'm Douglas Newell, and I hope to be able to read for you again sometime. Have a great day.